Assalamu alaikum beautiful people welcome back to another episode of HRT where we have thought-provoking discussions on real life dilemmas I always want to say real life matters Marangapi Marangapi I know I know I know Yeah, let's get into the question or the dilemma. Uh, we, we got this from a supporter, so don't forget to comment your dilemmas so that we can use them on our next episode, mm-hmm. inshallah. Okay, this person <coughs> said, I came out as a trans to my best friend of seven years and I still want to be friends with her. Any advice? So what does your friend think? That's another question. Maybe something they will have added yeah. in, the, in, the, in, the, in the question. Yeah. Because if your friend uh, does not have an issue with you being a trans, you don't need any advice. Yeah. Yeah. You just need to have a talk with them. Yeah. Uh, okay, I'm going from this to this. What do you think? If yeah. you still wants to be your friend, friend good. Well and good. If not, okay, that's yeah. who you are. Then deal with yeah. it. Transgender people are people who change their sex to the sex they were given at birth like you were born female at birth then when you grow up you want to change to become a male and vice versa we don't have any op- uh, advice for homosexual people when okay if you have any question concerning homosexuality i don't have what will i tell someone who's homosexual yeah no you got nothing to yeah do i don't have any yeah. opinion for you guys man yeah. my you? opinion just stands that i don't support the whole homosexuality thing yeah. and that's a final decision nobody can change my mind yeah, no, we can coexist with them, nini, nini, but our religion and everything that we stand for, homosexuality is not something we are really yeah, so If so your friend is okay with you being a homosexual, well and good. If not, find a new friend who is homosexual themselves. Yeah, someone who will accept you for who you are. Yeah. Uh, your partner invite, invites their ex to your wedding because they are just friends. Do you allow it or you say no? At what? Your partner invites your ex, their ex. Your partner invites their ex to your wedding, saying that they're just friends. Do you allow it or you don't allow? Will I be dramatic if the wedding ends right there and then? <laughs> yes, you'll be dramatic because I can't deal with that bullshit. Honest to God. Why? After you're just friends with your ex, yeah, you might as well marry her right there and then. There's no way you can be friends with your ex. Unfortunately, no. We can't be still friends. Oh, Mutual mm-hmm. uh, breakup happened, and now that behind closed doors, you know what you're doing. It's okay. Mm-hmm. Just what, I'm saying what, is, is what I'm saying is, people sometimes have mutual breakup and they decide, oh, this is not what we want for both of us. And I invite you to my wedding, you will say no. Absolutely. Yeah. Me, I don't Especially have Especially, I find it disrespectful that a partner of mine is willing to invite an ex to a wedding. What? Even, you are disrespecting me. You are the person you are supposed to marry. So, with that being said, I'm walking away on the wedding. To oh. go where? You will leave your whole wedding just because your ex? Absolutely. Disrespect is something you are not willing to take. Are you crazy? So, what will you do? Walk out of the wedding like a runaway bride. The fact? Hey, I will hey, tell you to your, your best friend likes you, but you don't like don't feel the same. Mm. They ask you to go on a date to mm. give them a chance. Do you agree? Yes. <laughs> <Huh>? Yes. <laughs> what the hell? Yes, what? Yes, I'll go on the date. I say no. <laughs> say no to your face uh, yeah you have already told them no so you need to eat their the food, food and money and, and, yeah i love that eating the food with the with what i don't know will make them understand more since he's trying to be he is trying to be what mature or what what uh, romantic romantic taking me out and i'll still say no they are serious about a, you i don't give a shit if i don't want you i don't want you man me, I won't 
go on the day on the dates what's the point i've already told you no so i i put myself through awkward moment just to go take does the dilemma no. say they have told you before you have said no yes they have told you before oh yes no no, no. i'm still going on the date. me i'm not going I'm not okay. when you call me on the date i'm oblivious ah yeah should couples share um, share passwords to their to their phones, social media accounts, or is privacy a non-negotiable boundary? Should you share your your social media passwords and your phone password with your partner, or it is about uh, it's a boundary that you're like ah everyone should have their phone, you should have your own privacy. I mean me, I'm fifty fifty on that. I mean, I don't mind you having my passwords and stuff like that. But at the same time, I don't, uh, I don't want you to have that. Why? Because of my own shit. Oh shit! Huh? You said you're loyal. You don't shit. You don't. Yeah, yeah. It's not a matter of loyalty. Like maybe I want to buy some things. Maybe I have the shoes that I want. Mm -hmm. You understand? I'm saying maybe I'm saving up some money. My bank account details. You understand? Like that thing. Maybe I'm planning something for the future or some things like that. I don't want you to snoop and find out. You understand? I'm saying. But at the same but you time, you can always tell them I'm doing something on my phone. Please, if you go through my phone, no, really. do not go through that. No, no. That's something I'm doing for us. Yeah. No. Me, I don't have an issue, but that has to be in marriage. I cannot do. What else are you doing outside marriage? You. I am yeah. boyfriending someone. Ah, yes. uh, but uh, it, let's okay. Let's say this. I don't have an issue with it totally, but. Me giving someone completely my social media passwords, yeah. it feels like it's yeah. too much. No, no, no. I can give you my phone, you can go through my Instagram, you can go through and then I, I, my I TikTok. Think is, and you, are you crazy? You have your own phone, you just sat there scrolling on TikTok with my phone. No, no, you just, I it movie. happens what that I need this? your phone. Ah. I don't have to come and look for you and be like, ah, yeah, okay, and okay. please, do okay, ah. password. That's, no. yeah, that's... So I don't mind giving my password, password to the phone, not yeah, password, password to social to medias. Yeah, no, because in case of anything, I can always log out, you log you out. Yeah, um, but I don't know, man. What your opinion is your opinion. What's it? higher? Is it okay to ask guests to pay for their for their meals at your wedding to save costs? No, <laughs> huh? Yes, you are coming to the Sumaya is getting married, and I have asked Hafsa to pay two thousand five hundred. That's going to cost her meals and drinks, and, and that is for all the world fifty people. I am going to the park. To do with my 2,500 shins to eat uh, things in the park. But we need to save money. This, uh, this is a newlywed and couple. I, they want to get their lives together. They don't want to. I overuse. also want to get my life together. 2,500 is not going to be a. It's not going to be a big deal for you. So just share 2,000. Glass is in the Bible somewhere, is that <laughs> <laughs> That whoever as the person who is married, <laughs> who you are that greedy and selfish to not organize your own wedding and your own food and your own shit and invite us and we do. Because if it was my day, I would do the same. If I was getting married, I wouldn't have That is you, but me as Sumer have decided Sumer that I can, really need can kick rocks. Me and your sister. Well, I'm not you will pay. Well, I am not. I don't know any better. One fifty shillings maybe. I thought we say to tell me fifty fifty. See you to me flowers for the for the bridesmaid. Yeah, yeah. The bride. You can kick rocks. I'm not in adding nothing. Let's say I buy you a gift like personal gift for your wedding. Like no, your own meal that you will eat no, at the wedding. Uh, well, you can't do that. I can. Well, I had as our religion and our culture and how we were brought up we never say that if you are welcoming a guest you are the host they are sitting that is, at a, a table. that is a way of You're getting sitting. rid getting uh, getting rid of stupid guests like you no 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 if you are if you are stupid yourself for having stupid guests yeah, you are allowed to sit well, on your phone. Uh, that's how it's supposed to be not look at your phone while you are still discussing a dilemma ah uh, yeah a friend starts dating your sibling. Is it okay to feel weird about it or even even object? Be like, no, don't date my sibling. Are you in love? Eh? The love is between you and your sibling. 
Are you crazy? No, my friend and my siblings can date until they die. <laughs> Even they, they can marry. fall in love and have or, kids. Or I don't give a shit. You think I don't care about what Muhammad uh, does with my friend? Eh. Go on. Say <laughs> 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 you are like I don't give a f about whatever they do. Me, you think I care about my siblings' love lives like like that much? No, me, I'm offered by support. Yes, but <laughs> go do whatever you want. No, your mother. Why will I feel weird about it? It's love, man. Love is in the air, man. Let's, let the them be. Let the them be. Love. The wedding will be even nicer because my my friend is there. But when they are breaking up, who can involve now? You will be involved because this is your best friend. Absolutely not. So, when your brother and your best friend are breaking up now, they really? have marital issues. You are supporting that relationship to begin with. Yeah. Now, make the decision. I'm not deciding nothing, man. I'm not going to be involved. Maybe I will not. Be. I, I don't feel. I won't have an issue. My, my brother falling in love with my friend. But my, the good thing, my brother is too young for my yeah, friends. That's the thing. <laughs> my brother is too young for my friends. So my friends should focus on other things. They will pedophile my brother. Yeah, if your friends are pedophiles, yeah. But if my, 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 my brother was elder, was like oh, elder, older. older than me, I think. And, and then he wanted to date who? My friend Hamdi to save me. Huh? Go on! <laughs> You'll be like, have the gun, please. Yeah. Uh, but to me, I, I also feel some type of way, knowing what I know about my brother. And then allowing that to go to my no, friend. I will wonder what my friend is doing. Yeah. I because will advise her before she even gets into that I will situation. ask her, are you sure this maggot is what she wants? Yes, to my, my brother who is a maggot and a monkey. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I, I don't I don't have an issue. Me, I don't have an issue with people's decision in their lives. Yeah, me, I don't Whatever you decide to do with your life. We listen, but we don't judge. Me, I'm judging you though. I, is it wrong to re-gift something your partner gave, uh, gave you to someone else? Absolutely. So let's say my partner gave me something and I gave it out to someone else. Mm -hmm. Why is it wrong? Oh, Mimi, I put time, effort, and thought into getting you something. But you, Margot, wants to give out. Next yes. time you're not getting nothing. How will you know? I will know because I will find out. You will not know because how will you know? If you gave me, let's say you give me a perfume. Mm. And then that perfume I gave it to my friend because yeah. it, was our, it was on her birthday. Yeah, well, and I give didn't out, know what to give, give out, out. Give out, but make sure I don't find out. Because if I do, my friend, eh, hmm. next time you will not have anything to give out. Then the relationship is over. Over. <laughs> ah, me and Hamza can never be in a relationship, even if we are different. No. Oh, ah. hey, hey, hey. Kerere, kerere, we will be like always divorcing and breaking up. Hey, hey. Natasha always wants and done. <laughs> Think I will get back to your ass after you will be divorced? You they crazy? Hi. Ah, yeah. Mhm. Mm are you allowing you are you are fine with your partner giving out what you give them? No, Mimi. Ah. I am a very very sensitive human being. Uh -huh. If you give out one thing that I gave you, mm. done deal, divorce, cancelling you, restriction <laughs> from the police, everything bad. I'm doing it. Hey. Yeah, I agree. One thing I've realized is if something is not happening to you. Yeah, yes, okay. but once it's uh, it's happening to someone, you know, if it's happening to someone else, I do not fine. care. Yes, don't care. but if it's happening to you, me, you are selfish, my friend. Yes, you're wicked because I care about myself. No, you care about yourself, but what want what you want for yourself for others? No, no I do not want what I want for others. I am others. considerate, but then I do not, I do not know the no. opinion of someone else. The opinion of someone else, when it is me. I am making a decision. Now, but when it's not me, man, I'm not. I feel like you're more understanding like of other people's decisions, yeah. Ah, like if someone is going through something, oh yeah, okay, it's fine. But you can advise them. But what it's when it's happening to you, yeah? Extreme. Because advice. I know how I feel. No, no, no. But for That's, someone else, they are they're seeking advice. To a child and I'm to for that. Change your behaviors. <laughs> Ah yeah. Should organ donation be mandatory after death, or should people have the right to refuse? Uh, when you want. die and you give out your organs, like your heart, See, your kidneys. What is happening in the news? I don't know if the news. No, no, you are dead. 
Not no, because you are killed or anything. No. You are dead and then someone is like, yeah, we will be taking the heart of Hafsa, kidney, liver, and oh, what? I'm a Muslim, I'm not going to kill you with your organs, you shall see. Yeah, that's, that's the thing though. Yeah, before they even think, me, if I collapse and die here, here, the next thing is washing and kafanka na na you shall see. Yeah, so maybe if I'm in a critical like surgery or some shit like that, and they take my organs, I will come back from death and sue you <laughs> I'll hurt you. Eh? If you take my organs, I will ah, hurt me, you. I want my organs intact. I want the snakes and the animals down there to so get enjoy. what they deserve. Me, me, my opinion will be, if you really want, before you die, make a, like, a, a document. <laughs> like, so very <laughs> aggressive. <laughs> like, the people who give out themselves to science, eh, even science, people say, I want my body to be used for science. If when I die and they write it down. Yeah. So if you want that to happen to you, write it down somewhere so that when you die, your people know what to do. You're useless if you're, you're giving your body out for science. You, you I hope it's just that if I, I need to know what they will be researching on me. <laughs> but Nibiri, I am Muslim, so the next two minutes I'll be on the in the ground. Yeah. But yeah, thank you so much guys for watching. Much don't forget to subscribe, like comment and share it with your friend and if you have a dilemma that you want us to talk about and share our opinions on please do oh. let us know and uh, much love light and blessings Ma'asalam. peace